quick introduction to the MIPS 16 CPU controls. Switches 17 and 16 toggle run, idle, and debug mode. The switches 15, 14, and 13 uh, are for the clock speed of the CPU. They control the rate divider. Switch 9 enables the clock. Switches 4 to 0 is an address that allows for peaking of the register values. And key 0 is a manual clock for debug mode. Key 1 resets the CPU register and the program counter. These four CPU or LEDs are for the micro counter. And the LEDs beside it um, display the multiplexer selections for A, B, and C MUX. The LED R's from 15 to 0 are the uh, current instruction, two words, 16 bits, which are being executed by the CPU. The hex displays for 3 to 0 are the value that's peaked in the register file, right by those um, switches. Uh, and the other three displays are the program counter and the ALU operation. So this is how to load a program onto the MIPS CPU. As we can see, we have the bubble sort program on the left. We'll open the assembler and type in the name of the file. Uh, as you can see, it has generated a MIF file of binary code for the CPU to execute. Now to load it into the CPU, you simply move it into the project files of the CPU. Uh, go to processing, update the initialization file, and then once that's complete, restart the assembler. And then you can program the board with the updated MIF file. So now we have the bubble sore program loaded onto the CPU when the lights turn on. Yep. So now uh, I'll place the CPU into run mode and enable the clock. You can see the CPU is now running at 10 hertz. I will just peak the value in register 1. You can see it's displayed on the hex displays and now increasing the CPU speed. And as we can see, we can pause the, uh, the CPU at any point during its ex execution. So now peaking the values, 9, A, 8. And this is the array that is currently in the register file, which has been saved to the memory. And as you can see, it is definitely unsorted. And so now what we're going to do is begin the CPU again and watch the value in register 5. Uh, the 5 will be the index of the inner loop of the bubble sort, which will first increment up to 9. We can see if we took a quick, uh, quick look at register 4, it contained the ith index, which was at 0. Now since this algorithm is an n squared algorithm, it will take quite a bit of time to run on the CPU at a slow clock speed. As we can see that the uh, ith index has increased very slowly. Now the jth index should only increment up to 8. And now for this iteration it will increment up to 7 and so on. And we can see the ith index here increasing in speed. And once the program has finished, uh, since the loop enable has been turned off, it will simply stop at the largest program index. And now we can peek the values in the registers, which if you look at the bubble sort program, uh, is loaded in the same order that it was saved to. So now we can see that all the values in the bubble sort are indeed sorted in increasing order. There's 7, there's 8, there's 9, and there's A. Sorted. And here is a demonstration of the VGA capabilities. The VGA controller will interface with the CPU's memory, and it will grab memory that is uh, at a certain offset. Now the memory uh, location where the VGA uh, will draw will be in the format of a 
coordinate, a color, and a width and a height. So as you can see, you can continuously draw an object and have it move around on the screen. And this demo program is just simply filling out the screen uh, with the color white. Mm -hmm.